was Tuesday, 1 p.m. We tried to avoid some traffic. We're heading down to uh, Skid Row, another Wealthy Meals delivery. Bravo, Galil, our camera guy, always there when we need him with the steady hands. <laughs> <laughs> now it's shaking though, right? <laughs> We're gonna go feed some homeless either. I have so much going on, there's always things to do. And it's all about prioritizing. But at the same time, you know, everybody, we all have time, a little bit more time to do a little bit more. And, you know, do whatever we're doing outside a little bit faster or take a little bit from here, take a little bit from there and do something to give back. And, and that's the key. A lot of people don't like to inconvenience themselves. This is an inconvenience for us right now. We're leaving work right now. We're in traffic on 101, right into a skid row. Not because we have nothing else to do, it's just because this is what we want to do. It feels good doing it. It's a good example for others who always try to copy, especially me, copy this too. This will make the world a better place. Copy the good and the bad and everything else, whatever you want to copy, but make sure you know you, you do all the good things too because there is a reason why we are here. There is a reason why we're doing what we're doing. And the reason is, is because we're doing everything. It's not just one thing or another. So balance it out. Give back family, life, friends, all of that. They all have their places, but you can always make time to do something good out of kindness of your heart because it always gives back some way or somehow. And it's always just good for yourself anyway. Yo, you know how you always talk about that balance? Yeah. You know why I see like wealthy meals falling? It's huh. like, it's, it's healthy and it tastes so good. You're like, you, you question yourself. You're like, right, is it good for me? You know? <laughs> and I get a lot of those uh, feedbacks from customers. And they don't understand we take that extra mile and do that extra work to make it better, to make it high quality. And that's how we're elevating this brand. And it's more than just a meal prep company now. It's like we're their personal chefs and we should keep pushing it that way. We're, I think we're on the right path with that. Oh yeah, I think it's the, it's the extra effort that people don't realize. It's one thing to, to focus on making money and then one thing is to cook. One thing is to work us on calories and then so there's the extra effort that you take to make sure that that healthiness tastes good but at the same time you know you make it reasonable where it actually makes sense while at the same time you know you make it that it actually is going to be good for you and that's the extra effort which a lot of people skip when they're thinking about doing stuff like this right right that's the balance yeah yeah so it's the triple balance i think is, is a lot more than just three things it's just a more of a mindset, it's more of uh, what's in your heart, coming from your heart, being passionate and all those things add to, to the flavors, to, the, to the, what you're doing, to the meals, all of that has to do with it, but it's not one thing or two. It's a lifestyle, it's, it's the way of life, it's how you think and what's in your head and what you want to put out and what you want others to see and feel and taste. Definitely. And it all comes from your heart, it's from your soul, so it's, it's deeper than that. Right. So don't ever try to like downplay it because it's, it's if it was that easy then everybody could just do the one two three right. <laughs> and you'll be right there with us. That's why when we first started I like how we, we set up the kitchen where it's open, all open. We have nothing to hide compared to other people. Or nothing to freeze. Other <laughs> nothing to freeze, nothing to hide. Our kitchen is open and you come take a look at us, come hang out with us, you know, check it out. Give us a hand. Jump in. Wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Wear some gloves. It's pretty dope, bro. Yeah. Well, the dope part of it is to be able to give back. I think to be able to give back, the fact that we're doing this, uh, you know, it's like we all do things and we do give in life when we do always give to each other and we do each other favors. But when we do those things, usually there is always some kind of feeling of somebody owes me and there's always a wait for something to in return and you've never really given anything to anyone unless you've done something like this where you give to somebody who's really in need and you know for a fact you're not getting anything back and that truly means you're giving with nothing in return and that really adds so much more value to you and to your soul and makes you feel so much better 
to be a better human being and to do more and to be more and you know it adds value to your life and it makes somebody else's day so much better and it really doesn't really take that much from you i mean when you really want to do give and know the feeling of giving and and you know doing something give it to somebody without anything when he thought any expectations of getting anything in return do it for the love of doing it for the for just for the kindness of your heart for your for your soul but just just for that and see what what that does to you and what that does to your soul try it out let's roll got you an Shake and some rice yeah. some peppers enjoy have a good day thank you thank you're welcome you, god bless you i'll rip you too thank you guys enjoy Nice healthy meal for you today. Have a great day. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. are welcome. How are you guys doing? Here you go. I got you with that beer. Thank you, baby. Thank you. All right, guys. God bless you. Take care. Got you, bro. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Can you take the homeboy out, too? Uh, overnight open. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. Help him out. Yeah. All right, man. I got you a nice... Quick, healthy meal. Enjoy. Is that water? No, sorry. Have a great day. God bless you. Healthy meals for you. Thank you. Chicken. God bless you. Are you hungry? Yes, please. Here you go. Want There's four people here. Me, my husband, my yeah, okay, husband. Come on, you guys. Right. It's rice and chicken breast and mini peppers. five, six years ago, when the bakery started picking up, we started doing stuff like this. We'd come down here with the kids, my brother's kids, my brother with the, with the salon, Black, we'd come down and do stuff like this on a regular basis with them. And now it's been about seven years, six, seven years later, we're still here doing it on a bigger scale, on a personal level. Today's experience was a lot more meaningful uh, because instead of worrying about just giving a meal to somebody, we actually touched them physically. We actually just really, I went out and touched them. And you know, I, I feel like that interaction was, was a lot more meaningful for me and for them. And putting a smile on somebody's face and giving them food and making their day just a little bit more better was priceless to me. So. I think we're growing, we're getting better, we're getting better at this, we're better at getting better at giving. And you know, we don't always have to give material things to give. And today was a perfect example of me having an interaction, just having a conversation, having the physical touch with somebody just for positive reasons had so much more value to me and I'm pretty sure, you know, it's not something that they get on a daily basis. So. I'm sure that was that was the meaning for them also. That was great. 